Hey, how's it going guys? This is Tom from UDS and welcome to our review of The Veil Shadow of the Crown, a brand new game by developers Falling Squirrel. We're going to tell you everything you need to know before you play, and don't forget to subscribe for more on all things gaming every single week. You're not going to want to miss it. Now I've reviewed a lot of games over the past few years, but The Veil Shadow of the Crown might be the most unique to date. So you play the role of a recently appointed warden of a small keep, on the outskirts of a kingdom ruled by your brother. Now on the surface, this might sound like your usual RPG affair. However, things take an unusual twist when you find out your character has been blind since birth. Instead of relying on your sight, you're served audio cues and haptic feedback in your controller to help make sense of the world around you. It's a premise unlike anything I've heard before, but would it be enough to sustain a full gaming experience, complete with action, narrative, and exploration? Watch on to find out. So how does a game with next to no visuals work? Well before you do anything, grab yourself a pair of headphones, preferably with noise cancelling if you can. It's the only real way to play the veil, and if you make the effort, you'll quickly get immersed in this unusual world. Each explorable area is filled with plenty of characters and noisy objects that work as waypoints to help you navigate your way around. If you're a sighted player, it can feel a little bit alien to start with, but I found myself quickly getting used to this new auditory, tactile world. From the crackle of fire to the thump of a blacksmith working, it's strange how expansive an area devoid of sight can be. The same can be said for the combat, which works in a similar way. You have to listen and feel out for incoming attacks, and pay attention to the footsteps of your enemies to work out exactly where they are. And whatever difficulty you pick determines how much margin for error you have. Personally, I found that normal offered enough of a challenge while giving you the space to understand and comprehend what's coming next. You learn to trust senses that previously might have just been supporting, and once you do, everything feels really responsive. The controls themselves are fairly simple, which is definitely a good thing given the nature of the gameplay. Most of your movement and actions are done via the analog sticks, with in-game choices occasionally requiring the trigger buttons. I think the use of sticks was a nice choice, as it complements the tactile experience much better than clicking more static buttons. While the way you navigate the world is very impressive, it's more than matched by the world itself. There's a deep, branching narrative, rich with colourful characters, plenty of variety, and a range of side missions to keep you occupied. Make no mistake, this is a full RPG experience that demands your investment, and will give you plenty of enjoyment in return. The story is told through both natural environmental exposition as well as audio cutscenes and flashbacks. Now normally, I'm not a huge fan of narrative being spoon fed via cutscenes but given the nature of the game, I think it makes sense here. And the story is compelling enough that I looked forward to each new chapter. And this is all augmented by arguably the best sound design I've ever come across in a game. From each fully voiced character to the ambient buzz of the wildlife around you, this is a vibrant, living world. It's a unique, magical experience, allowing your imagination to fill in the gaps and paint a fantastical tapestry as you explore. There are these colourful dots that serve as your only visual connection to your surroundings, but honestly, they're not needed. And if I could, I'd play the whole thing blindfolded to truly let the soundscape take centre stage. It's also worth mentioning how, by focusing entirely on the audio, The Veil is one of the first games to be truly inclusive for totally blind players. Regardless of your level of sight, everyone will be able to enjoy the full package. And it's impressive and admirable how Falling Squirrel have not only made an exception accessible video game, but a deep, expansive experience to rival many established franchises. Phrases like essential plays get thrown around a lot, but I think The Veil is just that. Not only is it a great time, but it might also allow sighted players a greater perspective and understanding of the experiences of those less fortunate than themselves. And with the way the world is right now, a little understanding is always going to be welcome. But what did you think of The Veil Shadow of the Crown? Please let me know in the comments below, I love reading your thoughts. And while you're down there, don't forget to subscribe for more video game content every single week. Or you can always visit UpsideDownShark.com to find out more about everything we've got going on. But until then, my name is Tom, this has been UDS, and we'll see you next time.